So AnyDesk is now available on the Apple TV. Holy cow, isn't that robust? So let's go ahead and uh, launch the uh, application installer on the Apple TV. And this is the Apple TV 4K HDR. And I'm going to type in AnyDesk. OK, you see the app there. I'll select it. I'll install it. OK, I do want to point out two of the settings that you're going to need to make sure are in place in order to be able to successfully re remote access into your AnyDesk host. Um, in this case, it's my Mac Mini M1. And so you want to go into System Settings. And once in System Settings, you want to uh, go down to Privacy and Security and full disk access. You're going to need to make sure any desk is there and it's enabled. Now, if for some reason it's not and it wasn't initially when I uh, uh, set my set up my any desk, um, just go ahead and click on the plus sign uh, in your applications. Make sure you're sorted by name. Uh, look for any desk. Open it and Add it if it's not checked, simply check it to enable it. So full disk access is one thing, and then scroll further down to screen and system audio recording and make sure any desk is there and it's enabled. And again, if for some reason it's not, and I'll remove it here, I'll remove it, adding it in is simply as easy as clicking plus sign. Uh, selecting the AnyDesk app and again making sure that it's checked. Once those two items are in place you will be able to successfully remote access into your AnyDesk system and remote control it as you'll see me do now. Okay so now that uh, AnyDesk is set up I'm gonna go ahead with permissions on the Mac side as well to allow full disk access and uh, screen recording and audio. I'm going to go scroll down to my AnyDesk app. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And at this point, I do need to enter in the remote address of my uh, target host, which is going to be my Mac Mini. Uh, using your Apple TV remote, just hit the same button you would to go enter. And um, it's going to, it might show some emails. If it does at the very bottom, it will say enter new. You want to go ahead and select at the bottom. I'm doing it this way because I don't want my, those emails displayed. And then when you hit enter on that, now you're at where you can put in the remote address. Okay, now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put in that address that I'm using here. And this is, <laughs> it's very secure, so it's not going to allow anybody to attempt to access it just this uh, the systems I approve I'm going to go ahead and type in that number and then uh, select go okay and then when you're at this point um, you're going to be prompted on your host system to go ahead and approve um, so let me go ahead and do that. And you can see the Apple TV uh, coming in here with its Apple ID. And I'm going to go ahead and click Accept. And at this point now, I'm remote accessing my Mac Mini M1. And, uh, and then, of course, using the remote, you can navigate your mouse cursor. And at this point, I'm going to click Enter uh, using the... Uh, remote here to select my Safari browser and you can see it comes up to a tab there I can navigate to a different tab if I will um, let's see here I'm going to go to uh, scroll down uh, 
Now, it, initially when you move your mouse cursor, it's not going to sc screen scroll. You have to do the uh, play pause button and while holding that down, you will be able to scroll as you'll see me. I'm going to hold this down and now I'm going to be able to actually um, scroll the screen, see? Scroll the page I'm on. Okay, so if I do need to access uh, a keyboard, you do have the way to do it through the software. Um, and that is using the back button on your remote. If you tap that, you could see this additional tools come up here. Uh, one of which is a keyboard. Select that and now you can go ahead and uh, have control on the keyboard like now what would this be most useful for um, to be honest uh, you'd use it for a presentation and this really is more to maybe launch a browser um, and and then watch the presentation but you do have that ability and and it's there and so that does speak well uh, to the folks there who who uh, for any desk is that they're including Apple TV support uh, you can't find that with every remote access uh, software out there